everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I am taking you shopping at the thrift store with me today, along with some thrift flips I'm gonna throw in there for you too. I also wanna take a second to thank Mercari for sponsoring today's video. And I also wanna share with you some of my pro thrift store shopping secrets. So as I'm taking you through the thrift store today, I am looking for hidden treasures. So I'm always looking behind things, inside of things, and you never know what you're gonna find when you just start kind of moving things around. I always look for unique items or antiques that are one of a kind. I also look for sturdy items that are probably made out of wood or metal, things that have some girth to them so that I know they're gonna hold up once I get them home. And I also love to look for wood items because those are so easy to actually flip because you can paint them very easily. These candlesticks are one of the items that I brought home with me. Very, very unique and interesting. So I thought I would try my hand at creating something out of these along with this wooden bin. Like I said, if you look behind things, you might find some good treasures. This guy had some good hinges on it. I knew I could dress it up and make it look a little bit more modern. So that is part of what I'm going to share with you today. So these are a few of the unique items that I found. This little miniature teacup ceramic set that was so darling. Also these unique metal pots. They have lids on them and little wire handles that were inexpensive. And even this metal little container that I thought once polished up, it would probably just shine so beautifully. And this thing, which I'm not even sure what it is. So if you know what this is, let me know down in the comments below. It has this little lid that flips up with a wooden handle. So I'm back from the thrift store and I had so much fun. It's definitely one of my most favorite places to shop because it's kind of like your treasure hunting, but it's also a place where you're not going to spend a ton of money. So it's kind of like you can splurge a little bit there and by splurging, I mean $5 is the most I spent on any of these items for this little wooden box right here. And some of the items that you'll see, I'm actually going to flip in this video. And then some of the other items are actually going to go up in my Mercari store. So I call it a store, but really it's just sort of like an online flea market. Mercari is a selling app and it makes it super easy for sellers and for buyers and you can find almost anything on there. So if you have things that you don't use, you never use, or you simply just outgrew, then this is a place where you can actually list them almost like an online flea market. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put several of these items in my own Mercari store, almost like you gotta go thrift store shopping with me. So let me show you how easy it is to list your items in the Mercari app. So first, you will take a few pictures of your item that you want to sell in a few different angles and get those details. And once you have the Mercari app downloaded and get your profile set up, there's a button at the bottom that says sale that you will click. And then you'll go in to select those photos that you just took of your product that you want to sell, add in the title, add in a description. You can also even select details like the color of it. And then it will walk you through setting up shipping and selecting your price. Once you hit list it will say success and you will then have your items listed in your own Mercari store. So make sure to check the link that I'll have down in the description box to my own personal Mercari store and also a link to where you can download the app for free and you can get to shopping and finding your own bargains on their app. Now I'm excited to dive right into these new thrift flips. I think we're going to start with this box right here. So first, like I said, we're going to start with this box. It was only $5 and I'm pretty sure it's a potato box, but correct me if I'm wrong. And what I do with all of my thrift store items is I give them a good cleaning first. I use Simple Green. It cuts through all of the dirt and the grime and it also sanitizes everything. Then I went ahead and removed those hinges so we have a nice base to start painting. Ooh. 
I'm gonna paint this box in the color Silver Lining by Waverly. It's a chalk paint. It's my go-to chalk paint for any kind of furniture flips along with these vintage tonality chalk paint brushes, which I'll link down below. I swear by these. They will definitely give your projects a much better finish because they are specifically made to apply chalk paint. I love them. They come in a couple different sets and I love these smaller ones for these smaller projects. So I gave my entire piece one coat of this and then I let it sit for about an hour before I came back to give it a second coat. So here is the finish after one coat. I always put my paintbrushes in a little bag so they don't dry out between coats as it's drying. I actually really like this finish. It looks very distressed, but I decided to come back in and do a second coat and then let it sit overnight before I came in to add some of the details. So this is the next day and I'm just adding a metal handle that I had on hand, which is really inexpensive. It's from Hobby Lobby, really cute and decorative. And I thought it went really well with those hinges, which again, I just cleaned up and reattached onto this piece. Now, the only other detail I wanted to add onto this box was a black matte vinyl decal and the design you can just find in your Cricut design space. So I'm definitely loving this more updated look and finish of this box. I just added it to our kitchen, but I would love to know how else you would utilize something like this in your home. So I grabbed both of these candle holders and I thought they were really unique, but it wasn't until I got them home that I realized how unique they really were. I started taking them apart and this gold part just kind of twisted right off and a whole spring popped out and a whole candlestick popped out. So I'm assuming it's one of those things as the candle burns, it would kind of replenish itself. So I thought that was pretty cool, but we're actually not gonna use that at all. I wanna make these into more like hooks. So I took that candle part off, saved it for another time. And at the bottom, there was another gold piece that was being held on by a nut. So I got my pliers out, twisted that off and took that gold part off too and repeated that for that second candlestick holder. And now to give these more of an updated look, I just kind of flipped them upside down first and gave them a couple coats of some matte black spray paint. Blue is actually starting to become a pretty popular color, but it didn't necessarily match our decor. So once the first couple coats dried, I flipped them over to the right side and gave them two more coats of that black matte spray paint. And I love that there were two of these that I could flank a photo with or a frame with. I just hung some mason jars from these now hooks. I was actually really pleased to find this black frame. It was only $3, really good condition. It was almost like brand new, but I wanted to give it a updated look. So I have this contact paper that you can find from Dollar Tree. Yes, very inexpensive and it's like a darker wood grain tone and we're gonna apply it onto the back matte portion of this frame. I just have a squeegee and an X-Acto knife and I just took my, it took my time, it took some work, it took some kind of figuring out, but we got there and just added that to the background there to make those frames and the outside frame pop. I also decided to turn this upright so it's more vertical and then I had the horizontal photos and I had this really cute basket that I just drilled right into the bottom front side of the bottom frame and I also had this little decorative metal piece from Dollar Tree that said blessings on it. I added some Dollar Tree pop dots onto the back to make it raised and added that to the top over those photo frames. I love using things that I already have to accentuate thrift flips as it keeps it even more budget friendly. And next is this hanging Edison bulb. 
Edison bulbs by themselves are pretty expensive, so are the hanging kits. So this one was only $2, and we're gonna turn it into a lamp. This is a Dollar Tree metal bucket. Love these things. I had to get that sticker off the bottom there because it was actually going to be the top of our lamp. So I used my heat gun to peel that off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a hole in the bottom, the same size as the plastic part on this light. So I had to unscrew it first. I very carefully traced it onto the bottom of this uh, container. And then what I'm gonna do is use a combination of a drill and my pliers to create that hole. All right, so do as I say, not as I do. Absolutely wear gloves and safety goggles when you're working on this because you don't want metal in your eyes or your skin. I had misplaced mine, otherwise I would definitely be wearing them. So I just had to be super careful with creating this hole. And then once I had it big enough for that to slide into, I flipped it around to the back and I created a little notch at the bottom so my cord could go out the bottom too. And you'll see as I'm putting this together why it needed that. So now that I have my bucket prepped, I can add my light to it. So I fed the cord through the top, out the bottom, and kind of snugged the light fixture down into that hole really, really carefully. And then you'll see the cord will actually slip out the back so it, your bucket will sit flat on your surface. So not bad for a $2 thrift store find and $1 Dollar Tree bucket to make a really pretty and also decorative little lamp for your table side or a desk. I am loving this so much. If you enjoy thrift flips, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and stick around for new videos that I post here every single week. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.